YouTube friends and family, thanks for checking in. It's your boy, The Bad Wolf. All right, so if you're watching this video, you've probably done your homework already and you've um, pulled your vehicle out of jurisdiction, you've gotten rid of the plates, you've um, gotten rid of your driver's license, um, and now you're ready to travel in your personal automobile, okay? So this video is for those people. If you just do this, um, what I'm about to show you next, without having pulled your vehicle out, um, without having gotten rid of these things, uh, the outcome will be on you, okay? Just because they're gonna consider you to be driving your vehicle and you driving with a fake plate, okay? Um, so I do not recommend this uh, for people who haven't followed the correct steps, okay? This is for the people who have followed the right steps and you've successfully um, informed them that you are a national or a non-U.S. national. You've uh, probably put in your application or submitted your paperwork to the state um, that you will be traveling in your personal personal automobile. Um, and let's go. All right. So what this is, is with my vehicle where I'm at, I have successfully done these things. I've informed the state that I have my own personal custom plate, okay, for traveling through the state on public roads. I have put in that information that they are to communicate this information to all the law enforcement, um, all the various departments of court and whatever else. Now, have they? I do not know. Um, they've never really gotten back to me other than to say that basically, you know, you're free to do what you do because um, they really don't have jurisdiction over the roads like that. And so, if you are where I'm at, this could be an option, all right? So what I did, and I'll show you here, and I'm going to apologize uh, because it's going to look reversed um, in the video for you, but you'll get the idea. So here, uh, this is how I travel in my personal vehicle, okay? United States of America Republic, UCC-1308. Now, some people might say that sound, seems familiar, that's probably because for me, that's the UCC code for I'm not contracting, or if I do contract, it's under duress, or uh, I'm reserving all of my rights. Um, but what it is is UCC 1-308. So this is kind of my play on that. So if an officer or somebody else does decide they want to write up the ticket, basically they just put on there that I'm not trying to contract. I did think about going UCC, then putting the 1 and then the dash 308. But this kind of helps my car not stick out as much, um, you know, when you're when you're traveling in abroad, basically. Now, would this be okay in another state? It should be. Um, I but if I was knowingly going to go out of state, I would probably want to notify them. Uh, but you don't have to. Okay, it's a private plate for a private vehicle, my personal possession. All right. Um, so now your next question, have I used this? I use this daily, okay? I will say that I have been, um, I don't want to say followed, but I've had them pull up behind me, look at my vehicle's plate, pull up next to me, look over and stare at me, and I just wave and smile, and uh, they take off, okay? They go and do their thing. So knock on wood, either they got the updated information or they recognize that it's a private plate because if you read on the bottom, it says non-commercial, okay? And it also says non-US national and it says private on the bottom, which I'm gonna probably make another one and change the non-US national to national or just say state citizen. And then in the, sorry, this corner right here, it says DOT exempt, okay? Now, some people I've seen online, they do travel and they just have a generic one that says private and then the number uh, three for the letter E. And then um, I think for the I, uh, was it? Yeah, the I, they have a one or something like that. It's a standard plate. You can just type in, you know, whatever, um, you know, online private plate and it'll pull up something like that. Anyway, so this is my actual official one. So for those people who are wondering if I really do walk the walk, talk the talk. Yes, this is my plate on my on my car. Um, you can even see the uh, partial Mason, Masonic symbol right there in the corner that's also on my car. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is, people. Um, like I said, this is for people who have already successfully 
you know, you've gotten your passport done, you have uh, notified them either through the passport and or uh, your state. Um, do you have to do that? No, but I like to try to cover all my bases. Um, I even took a, uh, uh, filed a UCC um, against myself, which is also what you can do as a um, private citizen. Basically what that does is if you put a lien against yourself. I'll make another video just on that. And it kind of protects you, okay, which notifies the state. Um, they don't necessarily see it, but it is on record. So I have my vehicle's information on that UCC filing, okay? So in that filing, it basically says this is my vehicle, my make, color, all that stuff. And then here's my plate, here's my VIN, all that. So that if they say that you have to have it registered somewhere with the state, I can give them my full UCC code, which is in my booklet, Okay, so I keep a booklet of all my stuff um, in my car. I have um, this information. I have that the uh, actual letter that they provide you online when you remove yourself from their jurisdiction by closing your driver's license by getting a state ID. And so in that, uh, I have that paperwork where it says if you are you are saying that you are closing your driver's license by getting a state ID, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I have all that information in there. Okay, so should they ever want to try to, you know, go somewhere with it? Oh, it's not registered with the state. Yes, it is. Or this, that, and the other. Because even with the DMV, if you read through all their little stuff, it says in there that you can have alternate um, registration. Okay, so what does that really mean? It's a private registration. So that's what I have. So those are my steps. So now the site I used... Um, to do it, you can do this with any site. It doesn't have to be this one. I just happen to like these people. Um, it's buildasign.com. Uh, so build a sign that's uh, all one word, dot com. And for me, I went to uh, custom customizable license plates. So you wanna make your own. And literally all you're gonna do is hit start from scratch and then build it. You can literally put your colors, your, your numbers, everything, your wording on there. I would suggest not getting too close to the top um, because if you look at mine, which is done good now, um, when I originally started, I put it up a little too high. It was hiding underneath here or down here. So you want to bring it up just a little bit yeah, so that you don't have that uh, problem from the get-go. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, once you do this, you just go ahead and make it. Uh, these cost about eight bucks, I think. Um, I did mine some time ago. It was like seven bucks now, so they went up about a buck, which whoop de do. Um, for the fact that you're, if you have done this successfully, you never have to buy another license plate again. You don't have to pay for the registration or any of that other stuff, you know, because it's all private in the U.S. Okay, so once you're out successfully and private, you can do this, and you're set. That's it. So awesome sauce, guys, right? I want to reach out to all the people, uh, Daryl, Marquise, um, and some of the other people who've actually hit me up uh, and um, thanked me for these videos. I definitely appreciate you guys. Um, them and a number of other people have sent donations. So thank you because that helps me to, you know, have more time to do this. And so far, it seems like everyone really appreciates it. Um, I don't think I can... Uh, I don't know if any, of anything else I can say about this aspect off the top. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for the questions. I'm glad I was able to help a ton of you guys. Uh, don't forget to tell your friends and family. Uh, subscribe and, um, you know, happy traveling, guys. Enjoy the season and uh, Bad Wolf is over and out. But don't forget to hit that bell like and subscribe. Support your boy. All right, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you later.